Hello, I'm Martin Cross, this is Greg Searle. We're part of Rowing's World Rowing's TV commentary team here at the World Rowing Championships. We've had a fantastic day on Friday with some great semi-finals and a fantastic day to look forward to on Saturday with those amazing A-finals in Paralympic and Olympic boat classes. First of all, a little look back at the action on Friday. Greg, what was your favourite race for them? Well, that many day. highlights, but um, I've got to say, I love Mindorgis Grisconis, the Lithuanian scholar. How about that, the way he got out? quite nice calmly off the start sitting in the middle of the field started to work his way back suddenly crashed into a boy drops fully let go of that blade but managed to catch hold of it get it back stay fairly calm get going and still finish second in his semi-final qualify for the a final book that place at the tokyo olympic games for me i've got to say that was a highlight what about you irish eyes are smiling sunita paspura in the women's single and the irish men's double fantastic and on form I know, though, looking forward to Saturday's finals, that you've got an eye out on the matchup in the Paralympic mixed double skulls between Britain and Netherlands. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I mean, the Dutch double have had things pretty much the way they want them. Annika van der Meer and Corne de Koning, they've led the way in this event. Now this new British double have come up to challenge them. Challenge them. I think it's going to be quite a tight one. Yeah, for me, the women's pairs. I mean, you know, it's difficult to pick four women's pairs. Gala and Prendergrass, the New Zealanders, have been supreme. You've got Morrison and McIntyre from Australia, Filmer and Janssens, uh, the Canadians doubling up, and then uh, Calmo and Isa from America not doubling up. It's hard to pick exactly how the medals are going to go in that race, but it is going to be a fantastic contest. Absolutely, totally agree with you. Fantastic contest. The Americans are the only ones who aren't doubling up in the eight. Um, Prendergast and Gowler, they managed to get a good smooth passage through to the final. Didn't have to go through the repechage like the Canadians and the Australians did. So I kind of think that's going to favour them. But absolutely, you've got four crews there. There's only three medals. Men's and women's quads, the Chinese with Kui Jiao Tong at stroke. Fantastic athlete. And then Kerr Mertesackers at the head of that amazing... Uh, crew from the Netherlands, 5.33, but the Italians with uh, Giacomo Gentili in the stroke seat match their time. How good are those contests going to be? Well, that's going to be a great contest. The crews from the Netherlands seem to be on a real up, the sculling boats particularly, so that was a great performance uh, that we saw in the heat. Then the Netherlands beat the Italians, but the Italians looked a lot better when they came through to qualify for the final. Who knows which way that one's going to go. Paul O'Donovan going in the lightweight men's double skulls. Yeah, well, they were fantastic, weren't they? That lightweight double skulls race. All eyes will be on that. All eyes are going to be on all these races. Anything else you're looking forward to? Well, I'm just going to be interested to see how Alex Hill does the South Australian stroke of the Aussie men's four. Ian Wright, the coach, put him in that boat. They're going up against Britain and Italy. The Romanians, too, in the centre lanes just beat the British. I think, you know, everywhere you look, there's going to be quality of racing. Why don't you tune into worldrowing.com? join Greg Sell, me and Kat Holloway, our colleague in the commentary box, to take you through the racing on Saturday. It's going to be fantastic.